Good morning, everybody. So we just finished packaging and we're on our way to the post office. We also have to stop at Walmart to get some boxes, maybe look for some boxes somewhere. And then we're also gonna try to thrift today and see if we can find anything good. People are doing a lot of donations right now, right before Christmas to get uh, ready for the new toys. Um, and I also got a clip, I don't know if you can see it, on my shirt for my Osmo Pocket. So we're gonna test that out today, get you some more footage inside the thrift store. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Let us know in the comments if you like the footage and we'll be sure to do more videos in the future. We had to switch post offices for the time being. They just, the lines are so big at our normal post office that we can't have the stuff scanned. So we're gonna be going here because it's not as packed and the lady actually doesn't mind scanning the stuff for us. So we're got, we just gotta come out here. It's about five minutes out of the way, but I think it's gonna pay off um, for the algorithm because our stuff just wasn't getting scanned in the bulk acceptance. find a couple boxes just for me see if they have some boxes garbage oh there's some boxes score All right, guys, this is about where I have to stop the audio just so I don't get dinged by YouTube for having all the music in the background. So I'm just going to do a voice overlay and walk you through what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for, and all of that stuff. So right now, the first place I'm going to go is the Christmas stuff on the way over to the toys. I like to look for shiny brights real quick because those still sell really well for uh, Christmas. But this lady was kind of taking up the aisle. And I couldn't really look really well except for the really edge corner of the... Christmas area so I was like all right let's go over to the toys they have a lot of clothes at this Goodwill I always love to look at the Barbies because sometimes there are some vintage ones they just have so many Barbies here someone drew all over these Ken dolls No good Barbies today, so on to the next. So many toys get donated to these Goodwills and they kind of just stick them on the shelves. I'm always scared that I'm gonna pull a toy and all of them are gonna come falling on my head. They're just so jam packed. A lot of it is newer toys, not really vintage. I'm really looking for vintage toys or toys that are exclusive or rare or really hard to find. This little house is something that I actually scooped up. The stickers are a little messed up, but the brand is good. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's called Epoch. Um, and it's like a little nursery. So I'm going to look that up and put it in my cart. <laughs> but there's just so many games, so many toys. Oh, look, there's a dollhouse. You know, I love my dollhouses. And it's a loving family Fisher Price dollhouse. These go for bank. But I'm just checking here to make sure it's not too messed up. Good enough for me. Seven bucks. Can't pass up on that. 
All right, so what I like to do is find a little corner and start my searches. After I look up my stuff, I'm gonna go over back to the Christmas stuff. Hopefully that lady is not there and I can get a good look at the Christmas stuff. Oh, and look at that, she's gone. Looks like just uh, Christmas stuff that's not really good. Let's see what's on the other side. They have a lot of snow globes. And some of them are new in box. This is cool. This is an American Girl uh, keepsake ornament for two bucks. Definitely getting that. Enjoy other benefits by testing so i was looking up some of these mickey mouse disney snow globes that were new in box and they weren't that great they were selling for like nine or ten dollars free shipping so i kind of passed on those Recently, I started another second eBay account just selling children's books. So I definitely like stopping at the children's books and seeing if there's any good ones. I found a Pokemon. Let's see what else there is. Lots of Harry Potter, but I only buy the Harry Potter if they're first edition and hardcover. Here's the Rainbow Fish book. People really like that one. But I only like to buy them if I have a lot of them. Thomas the Train books are also ones that do good for children's books, but again, I only like to buy them if I have a lot of them. So after I gather a decent amount of books, I like to scan them just to make sure they do sell. If not, like this Pokemon one didn't even come up. If not, I put them back on the shelf because I can't just buy something if it doesn't sell. So unfortunately, sometimes I put all the books back. Sometimes I have a bunch that I get to keep and can sell. But um, a lot of times I do end up putting a lot of them back because they don't come up in eBay search, meaning that they don't sell. But sometimes I do find good books. Today I did not. Here I am. I'm going to scan the American girl that I found. And she did come up that she sells on eBay. So I bought her. But yeah, it takes a few seconds to look it up. She sells for like $13, $10. People bid on it. And there weren't any currently listed, which means I could probably price it a little bit higher. So she's going in the cart and she's going to be bought. All right, let's go find Steve. Oh, look, there he is. There's Steve. Whoa, whoa, there's some horse saddles randomly over there. Steve's checking them out to see if they're any good. Here's more snow globes. I like to look at the snow globes around Christmas because people actually do buy them. This is a really cool Disney one I found, so I'm going to get that. The Nashville actually ended up not getting, um, but there were some other cool ones that I did find. Like this Kennedy Space Center one.
This one's in a frame. Okay, so we're back from Goodwill and I'm gonna show you all the finds that we got today. Steve was the winner. He got more things than I did and higher quality things than I did. These we sell a lot. I found this. This is a Fisher Price Loving Family dollhouse. This I got for seven bucks. Um, this one's a little lopsided, so I'm gonna have to write sold as is, but they're still really hard to find. Probably can be fixed up. Um, and usually if they're, they are uh, in good shape, they go for 100. I'll probably try to get 80 or 60 for this one just cause it's a little messed up. But that one should be a good sale. Over here, Bask has found some stuff. This is an action figure. Who's this guy, Steve? Uh, G.I. Joe's. G.I. Joe's. He got a Star Wars ornament. You know everyone loves Yoda. This I found. It's a Kennedy Space Center uh, snow globe. This is a, I guess it's vintage, right? 90s Power Ranger. Like For a dollar, brand new, basically a great condition Power Ranger. I got a Rena Nevada mug made in USA on the bottom. Here's the dollhouse opened up. Okay, over here I have a vintage um, Barney with a stocking. And uh, he'll probably go for like 20 bucks. And then this, i never seen this before, but um, the stickers are a little messed up. But these, there's hardly any listed on eBay. On the bottom, it's it says it's made by epoch and um i got it for two bucks and it's a little nursery rainbow nursery um i looked it up on ebay and it sells for like 20 bucks or 20 plus and there's only like one other listed so that'll probably sell fast i've never seen one of these but it's kind of cool all right so i scooped up all these books it was a little over a hundred bucks but I looked up like just one of these Warhammer books was like over 30. So I took a little bit of a risk on, on this whole stack. Paid a little bit over 100. I got these uh, Star Wars, um, vintage Star Wars. I've sold some of these for decent money before for $10 for two. Um, I got this uh, different, different like comic books, Watchmen. Uh, X-Men and stuff like that. This whole stack was $24 and there's a whole bunch of them in there. So that'd be fun to look through. I picked up this Chap May. These are 90s Toys R Us exclusive toys and you can put G.I. Joe figures in there. And this is why people like these. Um, these are like two scale for G.I. Joe figures that are 3.75 inches. And for $3 this is a good buy. Can easily get 30 plus. Um, it's still the holidays. Julie oh, I found this. that. That's um, American Girl doll Christmas ornament. How much is this worth? Uh, twenty something probably. Okay. Twenty to thirty actually. That one's uh, cool. hard to find. I got this handmade wooden trailer with spinning wheels, and people like stuff like this. They make their own trucks, and then you know, so you don't have to make a trailer. You can just use this to pair up with a truck or just. You know, people who collect trucking stuff. That was for pretty $2, cool. For $2, this is a no-brainer. I think you found this one. Yeah, I found that. Um, the Morton Salt. Uh, this I found. It actually goes for quite a bit of money. There's only one listed on eBay as a bid, and the starting bid is 40 bucks. with okay. one someone already bid on it. Uh -huh. um, but it's hard to find. It's rare. Two bucks. Two so bucks. For, for Chicago people, when you used to drive to the city... There used to be a huge Morton Salt factory, and there was a huge ad of the little girl in the umbrella. So this is an iconic, iconic piece for uh, anything by Morton Salt. Yeah, like a Maybe collector. Stuff. Yeah. Um, let's see what else we got in here. I pick up diecast cars always. Um, I saw a couple trucks in here. Oh, cool. Three dollars. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for that. And then. All right, so Julie is modeling with the vintage saddles. This is actually a nice saddle by uh, Regents, uh, I think it's called. Hold on. This is by uh, Regents Saddle, and these are vintage and made with really quality leather. 
So people like to collect these for uh, displays or if they have horses, then stuff like this. For $39, that was a no-brainer. And again, we have a nice brown saddle here. This is actually made by, let's see, I think it was an Italian company. I think it's on the other side. Other side. It's on the inside flap. Oh, oh right here. Yeah. It's made by Pariani, Pariani Milano. Milano yeah, so these are super vintage, super cool, and uh, 39 bucks a piece. These are Some of these go for hundreds of dollars, um, if not thousands, so that should be an easy flip. So today was a pretty successful day, right, Julie? Yeah, it was all right. It was pretty good, funny dollhouse, saddles. Yeah. So if you enjoyed this video guys, we're going to be putting out more content of Julie filming inside of the Goodwills. So you actually see the process of what it takes and the people wandering around. And uh, this is our first video that we're doing in the style of having a camera on one of us. And uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun today because we, Goodwills, you never know what you're going to find. Sometimes you walk in and there's just not a lot. Today we kind of came out with quite a few good items. Um, especially the saddles and the Warhammer books and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's been an eventful day. We were packaging all day. It's a busy, busy day. If you enjoy this content, um, we do reselling videos and thrifting videos, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.